so I've got this old bridle just to show you now this is um, a roller buckle bridle it's not what I would attach this to this ring to form a turret and the reason being although this is stainless steel and very strong if you go through here and clip it on there like that yes it would work two things you got you got a bit of steel on the inside which can rub your horse more importantly is I've seen this done and this will pull apart because it only sits in the end there if you can go in close so you can see the pin coming through but it's not welded or fixed because it allows the center to roll roller bolt uh, roller buckle in other words so what you want to do is to come up here and come on here right if I just get that on there roughly so you can see yeah so that will snap on there it's not on this side so it's not touching your horse at all it can move around you can hang it down there and that's perfectly safe I've put it on that way so the clips on the inside hanging down here right the join in the in the carabiner yeah and that join will go up the back of the carabiner there when it's hanging so even if a horse rubs his head he's not liable to catch it on anything else or undo it so that gives you your ring there to put your rain fruit on the head on what so a cloud is very narrow, it's a fixed turret made for the job. It's easier to show you here how you could get over that. So that's a pound each and these rings. What we do when a head collar is worn out, we, we always take the rings off. There's loads of rings on head collar and they're handy for so many different things, you know. Um, not that we don't do anything on a, on a shoestring. All the harness we've got is top quality stuff and do that. But you've got to adapt sometimes. And, and people, when they're getting started, you've got to adapt and make the best of what you've got. As long as it's strong and safe, then away you go. And this should be as strong as anything else. And if so, well, it's not a rosette. Well, a rosette just fits on there. Well, then any stronger than that, it's no difference. So it'll do the job. Okay. So this is a cable tie. So what we've done, as I said to you before, we've wrapped it around. So it's actually three times round. Can you see one, two, three? That there and when you pull it tight it will stay up there it doesn't matter if it comes down there because when you just touch the rain it's up which makes it safe yeah this one here just to hold these traces up there it is again look and we put it on the inside so it can't possibly be rubbed pushed by anything else you know i know you say well how would it be well it's not impossible is it you just got to try and think of every what's it that's a little knot we use i don't know what it's called and then you come down here we connected it there now if you said well I've, more, I've got some traces they're plenty long enough then go through one of the holes in the trace you know so like in here cover it up with tape right? but you could go in there you could put that carabiner through there or there or anywhere okay so that's the other one we was talking about remove that put the other one on which is cheap these are made for the job um, and some of them we have three like you're driving a lot in lot in in a line oh my baby boy so all this is conventional now, isn't it? Exactly like you're doing already. Yeah. And well, we've already talked about the size of these. So as long as you've got a, a, a ring that you, or a clip that is stout enough and strong enough to come on here. And some, even on this harness, you would just come back here a minute. This is Heartland harness. And it is made strong, you know. Um, you know gate stitched on it's good it's double thickness in there would that hold i couldn't guarantee it but if you look at this on it's got a slip in here look you see where this strap passes through you we have done it before now we put a carabiner down there and used it that way i'm not saying that that is safe that's why i'm not recommending that unless you've got a real good ring that's fixed really tight and hard because remember the, the pull is going to be this way forward this was made to take a pull coming from the back not from the front so when we make the other film this is just to get you started so just to get you started now there's one other thing you can do if we just come back here i'll just show you um i'll take this tape off this will not weaken your trace how do I know that? Because you've already got holes in it down there where the adjustment is. Just film that bit there. Yeah. 
So you can punch a hole the same size through there in your trace. Now no one wants to knock holes in your trace, so I'm not saying do that, I'm saying you can do that. So you make a hole in there. Well if all this carriage is being pulled by that one little pin pass through the trace, that's all it is. There's nothing else doing it at all. There's no other bit on there that that's its, that's its, its weakest link, if you like. So if you make a hole here, now you need to do it properly and buy a proper punch to do it. You can buy them, you can buy them round ones, they're not much good, they're not strong enough for these great heavy traces. But you can buy a punch for not much money and they're much better. They come with about four or five different ones and they fit in, if you're looking under harness tools, and they're, they're quite cheap and they're like really sharp and you can dig that through there and you can put a shackle in there so a U piece like that with a pin going through and you can put that in and you've got your line of draft you know lovely so that's the other way I haven't got a trace here um, to show you but basically that's what you do so here I've got a quick release a little bit smaller um, but the weight strain on it is massive so if we punch a hole here in the trace, yeah, just here, hole's gone through. If we take this, I've bent this up so we can get it off easily. Remember to keep the flat side against the horse. Yeah. So if we imagine we've got a hole in there, we can now have that on there, can't we? And we can pass the pin through and that won't weaken your trace because obviously you've got holes down that end um, where it attaches to your swingle tree and as I said to you before that pin that goes through is the only thing that's holding all this lot together on any outfit whichever whether it's lever harness whatever harness it is somewhere along the line there's got to be adjustment on the traces and it's either here or down there so if you've got a buckle you can do it easy enough through the buckle put this through the buckle as long as it's not one of these so a buckle like this one would be fine to put it in that's possible yeah these ones it wouldn't be because if you put that through there like are you through there like that it would just pull out of there this would actually come apart be highly dangerous come undone so if you've got a solid buckle like this they're not designed to do that yes that's 100 true I'm not recommending you do that, but for long raining, etc., you know, when you're getting started, because there is no difference. If you can long rein a horse, he doesn't know that he hasn't, you know, there's no difference to him, is there? You know, the, the long rein in him is exactly the same. All you're doing is sitting on a seat. So now you're sitting down on a seat, right, as opposed to walking along. So once you've got all your long reining down and you can stop and back up and you can turn and you can, in the other film, we, we put a, all, all tangled up around the wrong way and we get it back without getting off the seat and get it back into position by knowing what to do and what pressure to apply on the reins and how to do it, etc. And other things that will help you keeping your all straight once you're ready to go in the cart. This is basically to get you started long reining showing you with the equipment you've got how far you can go and we're guessing of course we're guessing along what you've got you know compared with what we've got loads of stuff here obviously because that's what we do um but it's just some way of getting you going i hope that's helped a lot um so we'll probably break this film into two or three because it's very long um and put it up over a period of a you know couple of three weeks and then you'd be out over the winter time, perhaps you can get your stuff out, have a look what you got, um, and just, you know, give you a chance to fiddle about, long rain in any way, and do it in a safe manner, and, and see, we'll see. The only other thing I would say to you is, you want plenty of pair of hands, that are, you know, not like me, I can't walk at the moment, I'm waiting for a new knee, but the, um, like your swingle tree, you can put on your, or your traces, you can have two lead ropes on your wheel horse, so you can put a bit of weight on him. You know, you see you've got someone holding them, giving him some weight on his collar to pull. And then you can drive up and get your other horse to move forward and take the weight up as well. 
um, so there's a lot of playing about you can do before you actually fix him too and that's the time to get you know perhaps the proper equipment to move forward you know but by then you'll know whether you want to commit to it or not so i hope this does help you thank you